This video will hopefully help you understand how stairs are represented in 2D architectural drawings. I have three different stair scenarios here. Let's have a look at them as an introduction. We'll look at the easiest one first. This is a flight of stairs which is going up and midway along the flight we have what's called a brake line. Here just a single brake line and we can then after that brake line see what's underneath that stair. In this case it's an extension of this little storeroom. Scenario 2 is a stairwell which we are looking down into. Imagine standing over here which is the landing and looking down into a stairwell and seeing the stairs coming up towards you and exiting over here onto the landing next to you. You can see we have an up arrow illustrating the stairs coming up towards you. And then scenario three, two staircases. We have one coming up from the floor below, shown over here, exiting onto the landing next to you. And over here, the staircase continuing up to the floor above. In this case, we have what's called a double brake line. And double brake lines are used in cases where we have staircases stacked one on top of another. You're probably still a little confused, so let's have a look at a 3D model which will hopefully explain this to you. Here I've got a few flights of stairs and I've colored these to make the explanation easier. What I've also done is included some section planes through various parts of these stairs. With architectural floor plans, you are looking at that plan usually at about human eye level. So it's taking a slice through that room or that building and looking down from eye level. Same sort of thing happens with stairs here. We are having a look at what the stairs look like at that section point of being sliced through. Now in this case, the section line just happens to be at about the guy's waistline. That's just due to the size of the stairs that I've created. These slices, these sections, will be at about midway along each flight. Let's have a look at the first one here. So there we go, we see the section through the stairs. And if I swing it around into plan view, that's what we get. So you can see the grey stairs coming up from below. They come up towards us on the orange, exit on the landing next to us, and then these green stairs continue up to the floor above. In this case, we would have a double brake line at the end of the green there to illustrate that we have two uh, flights stacked one on top of another. Let's have a look at the next section down. In this case, it's sectioning through the orange stairs. There are no stairs below the orange, so if we flip that round into plan view, you can see we can't see anything underneath, it's just the... Um, the space underneath. In this case we would only have a single brake line because there's no staircase underneath there. And then let's have a look at the last scenario which is this one here taking a section through the staircase at ground level. So here again no stairs below that we would show just a single brake line at about human eye level and from that point show what's beneath the staircase. So your sections through stairs will be either at human eye level or midway through the flight, whichever best represents the situation for you. Let's go back to the CAD drawing now and see if this makes a bit more sense. So on the first one we have rises one, two, three and four and then a single break, no stairs underneath, just, just avoid Scenario 2, stairs coming up from the ground below. We're looking down into the stairwell. No stairs going up from there. And then scenario 3, stairs coming up from the floor below and stairs continuing up from this landing to the floor above. I need to mention something about these stair arrows. I live in the UK and the convention we use here is to show stairs going up. So up from below or up from where we are to the floor above. In some other countries you have a different convention where from where you're standing you will show stairs going up and you will show stairs going down. So for example standing on this landing over here this would be represented as up but these stairs because they're going to the floor below would be represented with a down arrow. 
So you will just need to become familiar with whatever is the architecture convention in the country where you work. So I hope that's been helpful to try and demystify this issue of drawing stairs in 2D.